Hi students, welcome back. So let us see the what are the features of uh, object oriented programming. So in the previous videos I explained uh, one of the basic concepts of these object oriented programming that is the class and the objects. So those are the main building, blo uh, building blocks of the object oriented programming uh, that is an object is the main building block of object oriented programming. So if we can come across the basic concepts means the class, objects, inheritance, polymorphism, abstraction. So these are all com comes under the basic concepts of object oriented programming. Now let us see what are the features of uh, OOPS. Actually this uh, OOPS is having the four pillars. So suppose this is a OOPS object oriented programming. So the main features of object oriented programming are the abstraction, abstraction, encapsulation, encapsulation, polymorphism, polymorphism and inheritance. So these are the four pillars we call four pillars of oops why we need these four pillars these four pillars are used to support the programming use it to support programming so if you are doing the program uh, by using the object oriented things okay so these four pillars will helpful to support while you are writing the programming. So those four pillars are the encapsulation, abstraction, inheritance and polymorphism. Okay. So let us see one by one. So first one is the abstraction. So what do you call this abstraction? So abstraction. So abstraction is nothing but it is uh, abstracting the data. Suppose uh, it, is, it is nothing but something only existing as an idea. Only abstract is present. Just suppose if you take the example as uh, we say abstract art. Abstract art. So if you see the abstract art you will just see a painting with uh, no image okay you call that is an abstract ad means only the different colors will be spread on the sheet then it will looks beautiful okay it doesn't consisting of any particular shape or nothing like that okay that you call it as abstract art it's it only hides the implementation details okay so we call it a abstraction is nothing but it hides the it hides implementation details implementation details while just presenting just presenting the features to the outside world so it is just showing the features to the outside world. So if you see the abstract art, you just feel it that the, the, pic, uh, the painting is beautiful. Means only to the outside world, it just showing the features. But it hiding the implementation details. It means what colors, what colors they are mixing. Okay, uh, if we get one color, uh, how many colors they are mixed. Okay, like that abstracting, it hides the implementation details. And it only focus, exposed to the... Uh, or, outside world only the features will be exposed to the outside world okay so coming to the main advantages of using this abstraction so why we are using this abstraction the main advantages are it reduce the reduce code complexity reduce code complexity and it hides the details hiding details and exposing so what it exposing only only the essential parts 
exposing the essential parts okay so abstraction hide the details and expose only the essential parts so i'll take one example to explain what is this an abstraction okay so if you take an example uh database system okay so what is it in database system the abstraction will play a role like it hides the details of hides the details of how data is stored and created and maintained did you get it so here the abstraction is saying in the if you take the database system the abstraction will play the role like it hides the details of how data is stored we don't know how the data is storing in the database we don't know how it is created and we don't know how it is maintained what we know we only uh, whenever we are just typing for information to see on the screen just we are, are rising one query and you'll get the result on the screen but the user doesn't know what it happens inside how the data is stored and how it is created and how it is maintained means it is hiding all the details related to that particular table it only the things which are essential to the person that only uh, exposed to the uh, outside world okay means it's hiding the details and exposing only the essential parts that you call it as abstraction so uh, now let us come to the another thing that is the encapsulation actually the encapsulation and abstraction both are uh, almost equal same but only the difference between here is encapsulation hiding the data it also hides the data whereas abstraction is also hides the data and encapsulation is also hiding the data hiding the data for purpose of purpose of protection it's also hides the data for the purpose of product uh, protection the main concept of encapsulation is uh, here encapsulation will binds the data okay so here uh, what i can say writing data and functions into a single unit so whatever you want to write that the data and functions uh, so if it, suppose if you take a structured programming or a uh, procedural language program uh, so the statements will be in the form of sequence uh, they are the structured sequence uh, whereas in encapsulation here whatever the data that the program we are using okay reuse for reusability and maintenance all the data and functions will be maintained in a single unit that you call it as an abstract uh, sorry encapsulation so uh, here you can uh, take the simple program like it is uh, encapsulation means so let us uh, see the, here encapsulation is nothing but it is writing data so writing data means data is nothing but it is a variables 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 are nothing but is having set of properties like some different variables that are uh, created so writing data plus functionality functionality means that you call it as a methods these are all bind in a single unit that call as a class okay these are all bind in a single unit okay in that in, represented as a class okay this you call it as encapsulation so what is the difference between this class and encapsulation difference between the class and encapsulation so class is nothing but class is nothing but model of objects 
class is nothing but it is a model of object. So then what is encapsulation? Encapsulation is nothing but writing data and code into a single unit. Okay. So class is a model of object whereas encapsulation is writing data and code into a single unit. So actually the implementation wise if you take uh, in the form of implementation wise. Implementation wise encapsulation and class both are same okay if you if you see in the form uh, uh, in the way of implementation wise both the encapsulation and both are the same it's also the hiding the details like the uh, uh, variables and the functions whereas class is also hiding the details of variables and the functions means not hiding it's just placing uh, the variables and the functions into a single unit the encapsulation and the class is we are writing the data and functions into a single unit okay so let us take one example to explain for this uh, encapsulation suppose if you are driving a driver is uh, drive a car if you take example as drive a car okay so what the car is having this car is having uh, to drive a car we need the accelerator accelerator and brake and steer steering okay to drive a car a car is having a car have accelerator brake and steer okay so if you are driving just you you are just seeing the accelerator brake and ste steering you can't seeing the means it's hiding the details what details it is hiding the car is hides the details details of uh, how many burns it uh, fuel, fuel is burns okay how many fuel uh, means the fuel is burns and uh, it uh, generate electricity rotate the tires okay so it the car is hiding the details of all these features it burn fuels generate electricity rotate the tires it doesn't want the car whenever the driver is driving the car he doesn't uh, think about how the uh, fuel is burning how how the electricity is generating uh, is the uh, wheels are rotating how many rotations it is taking okay so it does they doesn't uh, think about the implementation details means it hides the details it doesn't show the car doesn't show all these details it's only showing the accelerator brake and steering okay this you call it as encapsulation so in encapsulation so it plays all the features into single unit okay so whatever required that will be exposed and it hides all the details so this is the encapsulation so in the next video we will discuss about the remaining the two features what are the remaining two features so that is the uh, um, polymorphism and inheritance okay so the remaining two pillars of object oriented programming will be discussed in the next video thank you